Well, folks, here we go again. You know me. I'm the guy who can't resist scratching another destination off his bucket list. My therapist says it's an unhealthy obsession, but that's easy for her to say from the comfort of her chaise lounge. This time I've got my sights set on the good old USA. I know what you're thinking. This place can't compete with the ruins of Machu Picchu or the Great Wall of China. But we Americans have our own unique brand of magic, and I aim to sniff it out from sea to shining sea. From the red rocks of Sedona to the blues of Memphis, I'll be your guide down the road less Instagrammed. Stick with me, and you'll see this country like you never have before, through the wistful eyes of a wanderer who's almost but not quite ready to hang up his hiking boots. At least not until I get that selfie with Old Faithful. Being a natural explorer and adventure seeker, I've made it my mission to visit all 50 states before I kick the bucket. Some spots, though, deserve a starring role on any wanderlust's bucket list, America's backroads are calling. Ditch the crowds, fill up the tank, and get ready for an adventure you'll never forget. The hidden gems are waiting to be discovered. You just have to take the road less traveled. Being a longtime resident of this glorious nation, I've had the pleasure of traveling from sea to shining sea. While the big landmarks like Times Square, the Grand Canyon, and Disney World are must-sees, some of the hidden gems are even better. Want to experience the real America? Check out these off-the-radar spots. Take Route 66, for example. This historic byway spanning Illinois to California is a road trip lover's dream. Sure, parts of it are touristy, but cruising down open roads flanked by kitschy motels and diners straight out of the 1950s never gets old. Just be sure to give yourself plenty of time. You'll want to stop at every retro relic and Instagrammable overlook along the way. This historic highway spans eight states, from Illinois to California, kitschy roadside attractions, retro diners, and giant neon signs galore. Most tourists zip right by on the interstate, so you'll have plenty of open road to channel your inner easy rider. Just watch out for tumbleweeds. Out west, Death Valley stuns with its harsh yet beguiling landscapes. Home to the hottest place on earth, this desert wonderland is not for the faint of heart, but for those willing to brave scorching temperatures, the rewards are otherworldly vistas, sand dunes that sing, and nights so dark the Milky Way gleams. Death Valley is one of the most extreme places on the continent. Summers are scorching, but the spring blooms are spectacular. Miles of dirt roads lead to ghost towns, sand dunes, and the lowest point in North America. The dramatic desert scenery will make you feel like you've landed on Mars. Pack plenty of water and a full tank of gas. Back east, the Blue Ridge Parkway winds through Virginia and North Carolina, passing rolling hills, scenic overlooks, hiking trails galore, and the Appalachian Trail treating motorists to sweeping views of autumnal forests and the misty Blue Ridge Mountains. The fall foliage is gorgeous, with orange and red leaves as far as the eye can see. Take your time driving the 469 miles of two-lane blacktop, stopping at kitschy diners, antique shops, and small mountain towns along the way. Pack a picnic, roll down the windows, and soak in the seasonal splendor at a leisurely 45 miles per hour. Nearly 500 miles of winding mountain roads with stunning fall foliage, and not a chain restaurant in sight. Take it slow and soak in the solitude. Just don't get lost. Cell service can be spotty, and you might end up in a deliverance-type situation. Whether you're a wide-eyed millennial or well-seasoned soul, America holds adventures for all. So gas up the RV, grab your road trip crew and get out there. Your bucket list awaits. The open road is calling. Being stuck inside during the pandemic made me realize how much I crave the great outdoors. As an avid hiker and camper, the national parks are my happy place. If you're like me and nature is your therapy, add these bucket list spots to your travel plans ASAP. Death Valley National Park is one of the hottest, driest places in North America, with temperatures frequently over 120 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. But the spring wildflower blooms are stunning, and the night skies are some of the darkest in the country, perfect for stargazing. The park's 3.4 million acres contain canyons, sand dunes, oases, and the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere. Just avoid the summer heat at all costs unless you want to spontaneously combust. For a real adventure, tackle the daunting trek to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. The Bright Angel, South Kaibab, and North Kaibab trails lead hikers and mules down to the Colorado River, a descent of over a mile. The canyon walls display a kaleidoscope of colors, and each turn reveals a new breathtaking view. Just remember, 
what goes down must come back up, so save some energy for the challenging ascent in the hot desert sun. The sore legs will be worth it, I promise. All right, everybody, get out there and explore. The great American outdoors are calling your name. Pack your bags, fill your gas tank, and hit the open road. Adventure awaits. Now let's get into the foodie hotspots, the must-visit cities for food lovers. Being a self-professed foodie and travel junkie, I've made it my mission to chow down in some of the tastiest cities across this great nation of ours. If you fancy yourself an aspiring gourmand, here are a few spots you simply must hit up before you kick the bucket. New Orleans is a no-brainer. Between the beignets, gumbo, jambalaya, and hurricane cocktails, you'll be in a food coma before you can say, laissez les bons temps rouler. Head to Café du Monde for fried doughy goodness, then wander the French Quarter until you stumble upon some live jazz. Bourbon Street may be touristy, but sometimes you just need a hand grenade and a balcony view. If it's pizza and bagels you crave, look no further than New York City. Fold a slice of pepperoni in half and experience a little slice of heaven. Or grab a rainbow bagel, because basic is so last season. Whether you're chilling in Central Park or wandering the High Line, you'll work up an appetite in no time. Pro tip. Skip the $6 Starbucks and get a coffee from a real NYC diner. Out west, you can't beat the food in San Francisco and Portland. In San Fran, start your morning with a burrito the size of your head in the Mission District. Then hop on a cable car to Fisherman's Wharf for clam chowder in a sourdough bread bowl. Meanwhile, Portland is a hipster mecca of food trucks, craft brews, and Instagram-worthy brunches, and voodoo donut. Need I say more? The moral of the story? Eat, drink, and be merry, and maybe pack some antacids. Bon appétit. Life's too short for mediocre meals, so get on out there and start eating your way across America. Look, I'm just going to come right out and say it. The West Coast is where all the cool kids hang. The East Coast is great if you're into history, culture, amazing food, stunning fall foliage. And did I mention history? But the West Coast, man, that's where you want to be if you like having fun. Being an adventurous free spirit, I've spent a fair bit of time exploring both coasts. On the East Coast, you've got iconic cities like New York and DC, historical spots like Gettysburg and Colonial Williamsburg, and natural wonders like the Blue Ridge Mountains and Shenandoah National Park. Lovely places, no doubt, but kind of stuffy if you ask me. Now on the West Coast, that's where the real excitement is. You've got the grandeur of Yosemite and Death Valley, the weirdness of Portland and San Francisco, and the glitz of LA. Want to surf? Head to SoCal. Feel like skiing? Hit the slopes at Lake Tahoe. And don't even get me started on the national parks. The massive redwoods, the stunning Oregon coast, the deserts of Joshua Tree. The West Coast is an adventure junkie's paradise. So if you want stimulating conversation over craft cocktails, by all means, visit the East Coast. But if you're looking to let loose, embrace your wild side, and make memories that will last a lifetime, hightail it out west. The West Coast is where the party's at, people. Trust me on this one. Well, there you have it, folks. The ultimate American bucket list of destinations you simply must visit before you kick the bucket. From sea to shining sea, this great nation of ours has astounding natural wonders and vibrant cities that will inspire your soul. Sure, you could play it safe and stick to the typical tourist traps, but why not go off the beaten path for once and have an adventure that brings you closer to understanding the complex fabric of cultures that makes America so dang fascinating? One thing's for sure, with so many incredible options from coast to coast, you'll never run out of bucket list worthy escapes right here in the good old USA. Just be sure to send a postcard.